Welcome everyone to Age of Noobs patch summary in under 5 minutes. Buckle up for there's a lot of changes coming our way. Starting off with the general changes, wall foundations no longer have any melee armor, though quick walls should still do the trick. Palisade walls take one more second to build now, a tiny nerf there. But more importantly, a very welcome and surprising change was introduced with the mechanics of walling overall. We no longer have to deal with L-shaped walls, as walling is much easier and intuitive now. Elephants overall were hit with another nerf, this time to their damage against buildings. This applies to both the elite and non-elite versions. Finally, you can now cancel queued units and technologies with a global queue directly. Moving on to the Civ changes, the Aztecs finally get nerfed, with carry capacity going down from 5 to 3. This will especially affect their farming. The Bulgarians get a much needed buff, with 50% less food required for technologies in the blacksmith and the siege workshop. The Arambai get a slight nerf to their reload time, though I doubt this will change things much. Wong has to hold back his tears for this one. Kelt's infantry bonus now applies to feudal onwards only. Kipchaks now have the same fire delay as the Mangadai, though their micro still feels super fluid in my test. Chotels get a tiny buff, but nothing significant here. The Goths no longer get free loom, but they can research it instantly. The Indians get a little bit of rework here on their cavalry armor, though this is an overall nerf. It'll do less damage to buildings, and the cavalry line will have less armor than previously. The Italians get a tiny buff to the Genoese crossbowmen, as they can be trained quicker now. Nobody's surprised, the biggest nerf was applied to the Khmers. Their farmers and elephants are slower, and Tusk Swords is now more expensive. Koreans get a big buff to their archers again, with free armor upgrades on all ages. Their towers get a rework too, requiring the Castle Age unique tech to get to the same range as they were used to. The latest have one less pierce armor now, making them a bit more situational than before, but they will still dominate melee battles. The Gibettos get a minor fire delay buff, though their micro still feels lackluster. Obsidian arrows unsurprisingly got nerfed, though some still feel that this is not enough. Walls are now twice as durable, but no change in the castle damage still makes obsidian arrows very silly against castles. The Portuguese now research technologies 30% faster, which is a big buff. The Viper is claiming that this change may have made the Portuguese a top tier civ already. The Tatars got buffed, although a bit strangely. They now get two sheep spawned in the TC when you reach Feudal Age, and two sheep with each TC constructed in the Castle Age. The more important buff, however, is the additional melee armor that the Lancers, the Hussars, and the Cav Archers will receive through their unique technology, so in the late game, this could actually be uh, a big of a deal. The Turks finally get a change, and it's a big one. The scout line now gets plus one pierce armor, which is huge at every stage of the game. The Janissaries get an additional 15% accuracy, but we'll need to test how that translates to additional damage at max range. So let's just all wait for a Spear of the Law video for that. And finally, Viking Chieftains got a big nerf, making the technology significantly more expensive. Apart from those, the game itself got a UI overhaul with a streamlined view on quick play as well as new game mode Battle Royale. The UI for those feels fluid overall uh, and the ranked view has not really changed so you should expect more of the same there. Age of Empires is at a better place than ever before and we can't wait to see what the developers have more in store. Thank you everyone for watching! I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel and share more Age of Empires content with you folks, so dropping a like and subscribing would help me out and my small community a lot. See you folks in the next one, best of luck in the new patch.